Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. This is Physics 101 and here we are going to start now with electrostatics. So electrostatics mean electrostat uh, elect electrostatics is the study of steady charges or charges that are not moving electric charges that are not moving so we ask now what is a charge so charge is one of the fundamental properties of objects and we can understand charges if we take a look inside the structure of atoms so let's try to look at the structure of atoms so here we have say a hydrogen atom sorry a nucleus uh, uh sorry a uh, helium atom so you have two protons two neutrons and two electrons orbiting the nucleus so one we have proton and three is electron so charges are the property that differentiates uh, these three subatomic particles so protons has a positive charge of plus one e so i will we will talk about later what is this constant e a neutron has no charge so it has zero e or just zero an electron has a charge of minus 1 e. So, uh, some additional details. The mass of the proton is 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Mass of neutron is 1.675 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms so almost the same as for proton and for electron we have 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms so these two subatomic particles are much heavier compared to electrons Okay, so now that we have seen the properties of subatomic particles like the proton, neutron, and electron, let's try to ask what is this constant E. So the constant E is the fundamental electric charge. So when we say it's a fundamental electric charge, it's the lowest possible charge that can exist within an atom. So can you imagine uh, how could that even happen? Lowest possible. So it's like... Uh, Uh, let's scale up to real world objects. It's like you have a rock here and the smallest possible mass of the rock is say one kilogram. You cannot go lower in one kilogram, say 0 0.3 kilograms. No, that doesn't exist. So this is just an analogy 
for protons the smallest possible charge it can have is positive 1 e so what is this e e is actually magnitude of the charge of electrons or protons so it has a value of 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 and its unit is in coulombs or just C so this is the smallest possible value that a charge can have and moreover this value is quantized so what does being quantized mean it means that uh, say for other other objects that have higher charges it can only occur with integer values of e so n is an integer so meaning you can only have plus 1e plus 2e minus 4e you cannot observe charges or measure charges in nature that are oh sorry not zero you cannot observe charges that are 1.7 e 4.3 e any fractional charge does not exist so this is uh, a very bizarre quantity of charges a very bizarre property of charges so again, if you would compare it to uh, classical objects like as, uh, everyday quantities like mass, of course you can observe mass of 4.3 kilograms, 5.4 kilograms, but in charges you cannot observe these values.